In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, and may the peace and bliss of Allah be upon his last and beloved Mr. Muhammad, and may the peace and bliss of Allah be upon you all. The title of this episode is Understanding Computing from the Quran, from the last revelation of Allah God to people. Now, as an introduction to this uh, episode, if we think about the statement of Allah God Almighty in the Quran in verse 38 of chapter 6, which states, There is not a moving creature on earth, nor a bird that flies with its two wings, but are communities like you. Allah God has not left anything out from the book, then unto their Lord they shall be gathered. So here Allah tells us, that he did not leave anything out of the book, out of the Qur'an, meaning that the Qur'an contains all the branches of knowledge. So, the Qur'an has the knowledge of the creation from the Creator. Now, if we link this with verse number 21 of chapter 51 of the Qur'an states, and, your, and in your own selves will you not then see? So here Allah the Almighty urges us, to ponder and reflect upon the creation of our bodies, how Allah God Almighty created us. And if we do that, we realize that the human body contains all engineering systems. For example, it contains thermal systems as in the human skin, contains chemical systems as in stomach, structural as in bones, computational as the human brain. So if we want to understand computing and the best computational system, we need to look in the Qur'an and our bodies in the human brain. Now, linking all of this with verse number 4 of chapter, 50, of chapter 95 of the Qur'an, which states, Allah God created humans in an optimal form. So here the Almighty teaches us that He created us in optimal form. This means that human body is optimized for in design and function, meaning that the systems that we learn the design from the, from the human body are optimal systems. There is nothing better than that in their design and specification and everything. So if we ponder upon the human brain and our body, we should be able to understand and get the optimal specifications for a computational system. Now if we start doing that, and if we ponder upon cell division in the human body, if we ponder upon cell division in our body, we realize that Allah God Almighty designed the cells in the human body to divide according to a numerical sequence. Allah God Almighty designed the cells in the human body to divide and increase in number according to a numerical sequence. Now this numerical sequence is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048, etc. So this is the numerical sequence on which cells are based in their division and increase in number. So this numerical sequence, I call it the numerical sequence of creation. This is the numerical sequence of numbers that Allah God Almighty designed the human body upon and creation upon this numerical sequence. If we also look at how Allah God Almighty designed the neural connections in the human body, we see that the Almighty designed these connections to be able to handle inputs following the sequence 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, this numerical sequence of creation. So we see that this is the basic and the the numerical sequence on which Allah God Almighty created creation upon. And we learn this from the cell division in our body and the neural connections. We see that the neural connections are based on inputs following the sequence and uh, cell division is based on the numerical sequence. Now there, after re realizing this, so this is the basic sequence of numbers in creation. Now after realizing this, we, there are a lot of conclusions from this. The first one is that since this is the numerical sequence on which creation was based, this means that any number can be represented by this sequence. That's a direct conclusion from this, that since our bodies are based on this uh, sequence, since creation is based on it, thus any number should be, able to, should be represented 
should be represented by this sequence. Let me give the following examples. If we take for take number um, 19, number 19 can be represented by the sequence. It's 1 plus 2 plus 16. Number 57 is 1 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32. Number 178 it's 2 plus 16 plus 32 plus 128. So we can see that any number can be represented by this numerical sequence of creation. And it's no wonder that people realized that in the nowadays, after the invention of computers, that the binary system, that any number can be represented by the binary system. So it's no wonder. But we see that people reached this after hundreds of years hundreds of years of um, experiments, research, where Allah God might teaches us knowledge in a matter of seconds. Allah God might teaches us the knowledge, this knowledge in a matter of seconds, while people, they reach the basics of what I'm saying in hundreds of years of research. So you can judge which approach is better. So let us ponder upon this assumption. If Muslims they pondered, they pondered upon the Qur'an and realized this information before others. Can you imagine, can you fathom, can you forecast what would be the status of Muslims nowadays? Again, if the Muslims, they pondered upon the Qur'an, they asked Allah for knowledge before running to the strangers, and they realized this knowledge from the Qur'an, and they implemented it before others, can you imagine the status of Muslim, what it have been today? And we see that people realized that any number can be represented by the binary system of numbers. So uh, here it showed how to represent the numbers 19, 57, and 178 by the binary system. So for example, number 19 is represented by 11001. Number 57 is represented by 100111. Number 178 by 01001101. So it's no wonder that any number can be represented by the binary, can be represented by the binary system. Now this is the first conclusion. Now the second conclusion from this is that since this is the basic and this is numerical sequence on which creation was, ba was created upon, so it's the best sequence for doing mathematical operations on it. So this is the best numerical sequence to do uh, number operations. For example, summation, uh, subtraction, division, multiplication. It's the best numerical sequence to do these operations upon. So let me give an example. If you want to add number 1 and 3 using this numerical sequence of creation, the way is that, uh, and this way is derived from the Qur'an, and pondering upon our body is that if you have a full cell for example number uh, if you want to add one and three if you have one and you want to add it to three then the first cell if it's full then the result would be a shift in the cell to the left so one plus one would be the to shift the cell to the left becomes two and two and two shifting the cell to the left becomes four so this process is repeated. So if you have a full cell and you add it to a full cell, then the result is a shifting of the cell to the left. And any number you can add using this approach. And this is just one example of adding 1 plus 3. And again, it's no wonder that people now in computers, they realize that the best way in computers to do uh, numbers operations is to convert the numbers to a binary system and then adding this kind of uh, binary system together. So in computers, um, as you can see, the same is done by um, adding, changing the numbers to the binary system and then adding them. But the, as it will be showed in uh, coming lectures, that the Quran is much, is, is far superior to what the basics that people understood now about computing. And this will be showed uh, Allah God willing in the coming lectures how the Quran is far superior to the knowledge of people in computers nowadays and this is just the beginning 
So we see that Allah the Almighty teaches us knowledge in a matter of seconds from the Quran compared to hundreds of years that people took to develop this kind of knowledge, the, start, the beginning of this kind of knowledge. So to summarize that we learn from the uh, Quran and from the, our bodies the numerical sequence of creation, the basic numerical sequence which is the best to represent numbers upon and it's the best to do numerical operations use, uh, by it and this is as I said what people nowadays knew uh, came to the basics the basics knowledge of it and as we will show in coming lectures the Quran is, is far superior and gives you the best computing um, knowledge from pondering about the Quran our bodies and the human brain and to know more details about this topic, please visit my website at www.quran-miracle.com and you can email me at zquran.com and may the peace and blessing of Allah be upon you all.